Hi, this is Tom from Tom Cycle Recycling. I'm here today to tell you how to get the pistons out of rear caliper from a GL1000 Goldwing. This caliper is also used on some other Hondas from that same time frame, so the same technique will apply to those. Just to give you an idea what things look like, you've got the two pieces, there's two bores with two caliper pistons, and there's this orifice here that goes between the two halves, which allows the brake fluid to travel through over out this hole into this other half so that both caliper pistons work together. And you don't need a lot of tools. An eight millimeter Allen wrench, piece of rubber in a tube, 12 millimeter box wrench, and a C-clamp. The other thing you need is a, a setup, something like what I've used in the past for getting pistons out, which is just an old master cylinder on handlebars in my vise and some old brake fluid. The first thing you have to know is which piston is going to come out first here because it makes a difference in this particular caliper. And in this case, it's the piston on this side on this small section. What you want to do is prevent the other one from coming out and that's where the C-clamp comes in handy. And this particular C-clamp is nice because it's kind of stepped, gives a little space so that when I put it on, it, it's kind of out of the way of the other piston at the same time. And when you tighten this up, Keep in mind you're going to mar the finish on the caliper. Maybe you don't care, but if it's still in nice shape and you don't want to damage it, then put some kind of protection in between the C-clamp and the body of the caliper. So that's in place. Now I can connect this to my little master cylinder jig here. Then I take the 12 millimeter box wrench. You want to make sure they're tight because you don't want fluid leaking out. So I can let that hang down. As usual, I'm just going to use old brake fluid because it works fine. Now the difference between this method and using air tends to come out rather suddenly if you use compressed air. Brake fluid can go flying everywhere and if you had your hand in the wrong place you might get your fingers pinched. Brake fluid tends to be a little gentler and slower. Here it comes. I'm going to grab my rag because if it starts to break loose I want to drip everywhere. Don't forget brake fluid is corrosive. Okay, well that piston is out, so now we have to take the C-clamp off. And I've got to separate the two pieces temporarily. This is what the 8mm Allen wrench is for. So there's the two halves, and what I need to do here is just put a piece of rubber in between is this O-ring seal in the orifice. That's going to act as a block to keep brake fluid from coming through. Get them good and snug. You want to effectively block that hole. Okay, here we go. Feel pressure. Here comes the piston. And that's all she wrote. So that's it for that particular technique of mine. I hope you found it helpful. I have plenty more coming, so stay tuned. Okay.